dog. Marina Del Rey. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about how this works? Which part would you like to know about? <laughs> Talk about uh, the spinning mirrors. Well, basically, there's one spinning mirror, and you're looking at it, and it's spinning as double sided, it's a tent mirror. So that way, you get twice the frame speed. And spinning, so you get about 30 frames a second. And then it makes um, basically frames for any viewpoint, so you can go around my face, and it looks like 3D. It sure does. <laughs> So are you rings? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I haven't seen this before. Are you guys the only ones working on this particular aspect of teleconferencing? Yep, right now. I like your hat. Thank you. <laughs> yep, it's just us right now. Andrew's the head of it right now. He's the long blonde hair over there. I believe to your right. Gotcha. Uh, Paul Dubevic is one of the leaders of the lab. You're playing with your hat, and I really uh, like that hat. <laughs> I'm seeing if it, how the hat affects the, uh, the pickup. <laughs> <laughs> and how far along is this? Is this ready for the marketplace yet, or do we will we see um, this in a couple more years? Yeah, or? Let, me, let, me, let, me show you, let me show you the diagram. Yeah. Uh, right. right now, it, it's we're working on trying to lighten the hardware. I mean, you need a 3D display like the one you're staring at right now in order to fully use it. Right. And right now, it isn't quite good enough to get into like commercial homes or commercial businesses. So, but I mean, we're on the way. We'll get there eventually. Probably sooner more than later. Awesome. Thank you. What about uh, some of the 3D projectors or 3D televisions, like some of the more consumer level market uh, 3D display devices that already exist? Well, some of them are real 3D, some of them aren't. Uh, 3D televisions aren't quite 3D. I mean, if you move, uh, you can't see like the left side of my face versus the right. Like the person to your right right now can see the left side of my face. I had you noticed that until you mentioned it. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> so that's the first primary difference. Yeah. Um, the second primary difference is some like some methods of 3D. There, uh, you know, lasers bouncing into fog. There's uh, some kind of medium in the middle. In this case, it's just a spinning mirror. There's never just empty space. So we're trying to narrow that down in ways that are make it more commercial. Uh, the, so the 3D TV, like in order for proper teleconferencing, you feel that like the ability for it to work from multiple perspectives is a uh, key. Uh, wait, I couldn't hear that last part. Uh, what? The, the advantages of this sort of system where you're bouncing onto a medium, do you feel that that's key to this particular sort of approach that you would use a, a 3D TV that... Kind of. I mean, um, how do I put this? Uh, the 3D TV doesn't exactly catch eye contact as well. I mean, for example, I'm making eye contact with him. Yeah. I can look and see him over there and make eye contact with him. <laughs> What is your field of view? What is your field, field of view? My field of view? It's about 90 degrees from that camera. So it's a wide-angle lens that I'm picking up. There's a, there's, a, there's a monitor above your head here of us. Is it as is wide as that? For instance, can, like, you see this book? The program yeah. I hold? Like, is, yeah. this, is this out of your field of view now? Yeah. Okay, so it's, now it's in your field of view? It's actually in there. I can see half of it. <laughs> Yeah, so it's pretty much the same as what's being projected up here. All right, in a, in a 2D screen. Uh -huh. okay. On a very large 2D screen. Oh, okay. Uh, what sort of bandwidth is necessary for this kind of connection? Well, More than we can what get we have now. <laughs> it depends on the bandwidth. Uh, currently, I don't know. You'd have to ask Andrew what bandwidth he accomplished this time because he just honestly worked on some of it like last week, this week. Yeah. So continuously updates. So you're gonna have to check in with him on that one. Okay. <laughs> Uh, where's Andrew? He's the one with the long blonde hair. There you go. Alright, hey, nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you.